Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, now that my two informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. So uh, let me put on my plus five hat of weaponsmithing, work on skill at my crafting a little bit, and uh, let's talk about Ralphie May. Um, I was kind of shocked when I got the news yesterday, uh, and not shocked in the sense that, wow, we should have seen this coming type shock. I mean, the guy was very, very obese and died of a heart attack at 45. Um, I mean, I lost my mother at 48 to a heart attack. So, I mean, I get it, I understand it, but part of it's like, why did we have to lose Ralphie May? He was actually really, really funny. I actually liked him. I actually liked him. The dude was funny. He was really funny. Uh, I mean, I remember when he did his original Cuba diving skit. That was funny. And it's kind of like you almost want to go, okay, God, if you wanted to teach us a lesson about obesity and personal accountability and that, you know, real people need to understand there's no way to be healthy and be fat. Uh, it just can't be done. You still die no matter how healthy you might think you are. Why couldn't you have taken somebody not funny like Rosie O'Donnell or Amy Schumer? But maybe that's the point. Maybe, maybe in Ralphie May's death, we can all learn something from it. And that's for people to understand there is no such thing as health at every size. All right, medical doctors, dietitians, everyone else say this, this is a complete social justice fabrication. Uh, then in fact, you shouldn't even love your fatness. I mean, people who, who promote this body acceptance concept are killing people. They're killing people. Uh, it's like saying, I'm gonna feel good about being a heroin addict. We should feel good about it and accept myself for who I am. Uh, being morbidly obese is not who anyone is. All right, it's a disease, and it's a self-inflicted disease that you can turn around at any time through a conscious choice, and this is stuff I know firsthand. So anyone who says, oh, yes, it's really hard to lose 100 pounds, you must not know who I am. <laughs> uh, I have been there and done that. Not as hard as people think it is. It's just a decision. But that's the thing. When it comes to social justice, no one ever wants to uh, talk about personal accountability. They want to blame everyone else for everything that goes on and they never want to step back and look at the stuff that people can be personally accountable for i mean seriously i mean we're talking right now about guns and stuff i mean this is what i do pretty obvious i'm kind of pro firearm uh, but the whole thing is look at gun deaths versus heart attacks or obesity related deaths you know that only five thousand people in the u.s are murdered by guns every year five thousand who so gun deaths are higher that's called suicide all right, choosing to kill yourself with a gun versus choosing to kill yourself with a cheeseburger. I mean, this is essentially what you're talking about. Most gun deaths are suicide, actually, if you go look at the statistic. Um, and that's just the choice they make. Go to another country, the suicide rate's just as high. They choose to use a rope or jump out in traffic. They just use a different method. The number's just as high. So you take that number and you go compare that. Go look it up yourself. Go look how many people die from heart attacks, obesity, directly from obesity, diabetes, stuff like that every year. And it's staggering. It is absolutely staggering. And you see social justice movements all over the internet. Everyone's screaming about, I don't know, black men being shot by the police. I'm not saying that's a good thing. Uh, in a perfect world, no one would get shot by the police. Can we all agree on that? Nobody. In a perfect world, it wouldn't ever happen. But statistically speaking, the black man is a thousand, if not 10,000 times more likely to die from diabetes in this country than they are being shot by the police. Over 10,000, over 10,000 black men die from diabetes in the United States every year than are killed by the police. Where is the outcry? Where is the outcry to ban McDonald's? Where is the outcry for, hey, maybe we need to eat less refined sugar, maybe we need to eat less refined foods, maybe we need to get to a gym? Where is that outcry and all this social justice crap? Look at what is actually killing people. People scream about the wrong stuff. They're worried about the wrong things. You know what? The one video I've made discussing heart attack rates and diabetes rates in African-American men probably saved more lives than the Black Lives Matter movement will for its entire duration of its existence. All right? Just one video about that because it might save one so again, we have all this social justice crap on the internet and none of it ever addresses the real harmful stuff that kills people in this country. Heart attack, 
diabetes, obesity, cancer and obesity ties into all of them, doesn't it? Every single one of them. It is impossible to maintain good health if you are morbidly obese. No amount of diet and exercise will do it. And even like even me right now, I'm sitting here dieting down, using lots of cardio to diet down. Why? I'm 40 years old. I really don't need to be above 200 pounds. And that's the point. Here's where it comes to health at every size. People are like, wait, you eat really healthy. You do cardio every single day. You weight train heavy four days a week. You're worried about this? Yeah. I am worried about being above 200 or above 220 pounds walking around that weight 365 days a year. You know why? Because no amount of exercise and good diet, if you maintain that sort of body weight, will keep you from dying hunger. It will harm your health, even if it's muscle. Now, it's better to have muscle than fat, but at the end of the day, being obese, being overweight, isn't healthy. It kills people. It is deadly. And this is something we as a country and we as a society need to have a serious discussion about. And yeah, I know one of the funniest comedians out there right now just died as a result of all of this. And now we have to have a serious talk about it. Maybe that's a legacy Ralphie May can leave. Because we have to have a serious talk about this. And here's the irony. We've got all this social justice crap out there worrying about stuff that is actually not the big deal that it gets blown up to be. And yet they don't want to talk about the stuff that's really killing people. And what do all these social justice movements do instead? They promote obesity. They promote body acceptance. They promote health at every size. Even though the doctors are screaming, hey, uh, this is no. Uh, doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. And yeah, really obese people need to be scared because at this point, this body acceptance movement isn't making any of them lose body fat. They need to be scared with the reality. This is going to kill you. You're going to have either a quick death at a young age, 45 like Ralphie may, or you're going to have a slow lingering painful death to where you're in agony for 10, 15 years with the crappy diseases that you get as a result of being obese. When your whole body hurts, your joints hurt, start getting diabetes, have to start getting toes and feet and things removed. When your diabetes gets bad, that's not a real nice way to live. Not a nice way to live at all. And at a certain point, uh, we as a society have to have a wake-up call. And this isn't about my genetics make me fat. Oh, I just have access to all these foods. You know what? That's a choice. You choose every single day whether you're going to get up and go walk first thing in the morning. All right? You choose. Do you slap all that extra butter on your toast? Do you dump a bunch of table sugar in your cereal and oats? All right? That's a choice you make every morning when you get up and get out of bed. Am I going to go drink a, a sugar-filled soda? Am I going to get extra fat? Am I going to get french fries? Am I going to eat a double bacon cheeseburger with french fries and a full sugar soda for lunch? Or am I going to eat a chicken salad and maybe a dry baked potato? This isn't difficult. It's a conscious choice that you make every single day, 365 days a year conscious choice whether you're going to be obese or not. It really is. It's a conscious choice. And people say, I can't afford to eat healthy. Really? Beans, rice, chicken breast, bananas. Go look at the prices on all that stuff. That stuff is real cheap. It's real cheap to eat healthy. It's because people are thinking they have to go buy all these specialty health foods, all this gimmicky crap, where they think they have to eat $10 worth of salad every day. None of that's necessary to eat healthy. None of that's necessary to not be really fat. All right, beans, rice, chicken, bananas. You look, make those staples of your diet. And I promise you almost everyone can afford that. Uh, again, the reality is it actually costs more to be fat than it does not to be. In fact, here's what it comes down to. It costs less to eat less food. You get fat by eating more food and exercising less. Taking a walk is free. Doing some push-ups and some chin-ups is free. Finding something big and heavy on the ground to pick up is free if you can't afford a gym. Alright, it's free. Nothing more than a conscious choice. In fact, most people find who are morbidly obese when they do get on a proper healthy diet, I don't mean they're really expensive healthy diet, they end up saving money on their grocery bill. When they really start adding it up but they're really spending on all the sodas and junk and everything else, the fast food, uh, it's actually cheaper to eat healthy. You'll save money. 
So again, these excuses that people make, this lack of personal accountability. Lack of personal accountability. That's the cause of the obesity epidemic. It's not the system's fault. It's not your genetics fault. It's not your neighbor's fault. It's not your parents' fault. It's a conscious choice that you make. Every single day when you get up in the morning, you decide, am I going to get fatter today or am I going to lose fat today? It's a conscious choice that you make every single day, every day, without fail, every day. And it's that simple. It really is that simple. And But look at the death rate in this country based upon obesity-related diseases. Heart attack, diabetes, cancer. And yeah, cancer is obesity related. Proven hands down, not even debated anymore. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.